You're listening to the Traffic and Conversion Show. I'm your host, Michelle Fernandez, and today I am sharing an incredibly important topic to dive into. We are talking about marketing strategy that can significantly boost your conversion rate, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. What is going on? I am kicking off this year with episodes that are vital to the success of your marketing campaigns, which ultimately means increasing your revenue. Like, whoop, whoop, right? I mean, every year I go into making it the best year yet for both my personal growth and my business growth. So there's nothing worse than ending the year in the same place that you started. So today we're diving into a marketing strategy that most people miss because they don't fully understand it. Therefore, they don't know the strategy behind it and how to use it in their marketing. And that is retargeting. And to be honest, when I first started, it was one of those things that people were always talking about. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know what that means. And secretly, I was like, I totally don't know what that means, right? It was just like that word optimization. So what exactly is retargeting? Why is it so crucial for your marketing efforts? Well, in simple terms, retargeting, also known as remarketing, is a strategic advertising technique that allows you to re-engage with potential customers who have previously interacted with your website or your funnels, but didn't complete the desired action, like making a purchase or signing up for a webinar or some other type of event, right? Or even a lead magnet. So the power of retargeting lies in its ability to bring back all those lost prospects and give them a second chance to convert. It's a well-known fact that most online shoppers or most people online don't really make a purchase on their first visit. So retargeting allows you to stay on their radar and gently guide them towards making that buying decision in order for you to increase your conversions. So basically, you are bringing them back in the funnel from wherever they fall out. Does that make sense? Okay, so now that we understand why retargeting is so important, let's dive into how it works. So when someone visits your website or your landing pages or interacts with your content, a small piece of code, often called a pixel, is placed on their device, right? So this pixel tracks their online behavior, such as pages that they visited, products that they view, or items that they may have even added to their cart. Now, with this data, you can create highly targeted ads that are shown to these potential customers as they browse other websites or other social media platforms. This keeps your brand fresh, right? It stays top of mind and encourages them to return to your site and complete their desired action. Now, Retargeting is definitely not a one-size-fits-all strategy. There are various types of retargeting, each catering to a specific stages of that customer journey. Okay, so these are the four types. The first one is standard retargeting. So targeting uh, users who visit your website, and again, I'm going to say website, and it could also be your landing pages, but then they didn't convert, okay? Okay. So a standard retargeting is a fundamental strategy in the digital marketing world, focusing on re-engaging users who have previously visited your website, but didn't take that desired action that you wanted them to take, right? So again, such as making a purchase, signing up, maybe filling out a form. So for instance, let's just take this example. A potential customer who browsed your online clothing store added items to their cart, but then left without completing the purchase. So with standard retargeting, you can display targeted ads showcasing those exact products to this user when they visit other websites or other social media platforms, reminding them of what they liked and encouraging them to return to convert. Now, this approach helps businesses recover potentially lost conversions and keeps their brand top of mind for those interested prospects, okay? So I'm sure you've seen that (laughs) where you have gone to think and you're like, hey, 
That's a nice reminder, right? Because you were just looking at that thing. Okay, so the second one is called dynamic retargeting. Now, displaying personalized product ads based on the user's previous interaction. So dynamic retargeting is a really powerful technique that there's advertising content to the individual users based on their previous interactions with that website or even an app, right? So for example, if a user viewed a specific pair of running shoes on an e com site, but didn't make the purchase, the dynamic retargeting can display those personalized ads featuring those exact same shoes on various online platforms, like on Google search, Facebook, a blog post that you might be on. So this level of personalization increases that chance of re-engagement and again, conversion. So I'm sure you've seen that too. It's like, you're shopping for a purse. And then all of a sudden you go on Facebook and there's a purse Instagram, there's a person you're Google searching for something and the purse is everywhere, right? And you're like, is this a sign from the universe that I should buy this purse? You know, that's just really good dynamic re retargeting, okay? All right, so let's talk about email retargeting because there are things that you can do that are in your control that maybe you don't have to spend advertising dollars for. So sending follow-up emails to users who abandon your shopping carts. Now, this could be even your digital products as well, not just e-com, okay? So email retargeting involves sending follow-up emails to the users who abandon their shopping cart. So this is very um, specific to a two-step order form. So if you've ever heard or you're on your um, platform where you're creating your landing pages and you wonder, well, should I use this two-step or what's the difference? The two-step allows you to collect the person's name and email before they, com like they complete their purchase. And so if you have it set up right, the ones who entered their name and email, but then did not complete the checkout process, that's where you send the email. That's where the email retargeting comes in to send them like, hey, you left something in your cart, right? Maybe you even offer um, something enticing, some sort of bonus, or maybe another product recommendation, really encouraging users to return and finalize their purchase. Now, this strategy can recover potentially lost sales and re-engage those customers who showed a genuine interest in the products. Because let's just face it with this whole retargeting thing, before I go on to the next example, like sometimes we have all good intentions. It's not like we didn't want to buy, but we got interrupted for whatever reason, right? We got a phone call. Maybe we were in line at the store and then we were next in line or we're picking up the kids and the kids get in the car, whatever that looks like. So you, you like a lot of people think, well, gosh, this is so annoying. I don't want to be like creepy stocky and I don't want to be super salesy. However, these people show genuine interest in this particular product, which is why you owe it to them to come back. Because a lot of times they're like, wait a minute, what was that thing? I don't remember the, the URL or I don't remember the website. And, and then they really honestly don't know how to get back. So you're just putting it back in front of them. And if they want, they'll get it. And if they don't, they'll move on. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Now, the next one is social media retargeting. So this is reaching out to users on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. And it, the strategy involves reconnecting with users on these popular social media platforms, again, based on their previous interactions with that website or digital content. So if a user visited, let's just stick with our e-com example and browse uh, a selection of electronics, right? but didn't make the purchase. The social media retargeting allows you to display tailored ads showcasing those electronics on their social media feeds. This keeps your brand visible and relevant to the potential clients even when they are not on your website, okay? So this, of course, increases the likely returning um, to make that purchase, right? Or signing up for a newsletter, okay? So this leverages the reach and engagement of potential of these platforms to boost the conversions and really even further for brand recognition, which is really, really great for you because now again, you're gonna be top of mind. Now, why should businesses invest in retargeting? Well, for one, it's cost-effective strategy because you're targeting users who have already 
been shown or and have already shown an interest in your products or services. This means that you're more likely to get a higher return on your investment compared to traditional advertising. So retargeting also leads to improved conversion rates. Statistics show that retargeted visitors are 70% more likely to convert compared to new visitors. And um, so you wanna be thinking about that, right? And also too, Facebook rewards you um, price-wise, right? Because they're like, okay, now they're considered a warm audience because they've shown that interest, because your pixel's on there and they recognize that you've been there, they've been there before, okay? So now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about some best practices for effective retargeting campaigns. Now, it is crucial to segment your audience and create tailored ads for different groups. Now, remember, one size does not fit all. So don't bombard your audience with too many ads because ad frequency matters. So too many ads can be annoying and counterproductive. So invest in eye-catching eye designs and compelling copy that reminds users of the value they'll get by returning to your site. So think about different creatives that you can use, um, especially video, right? A lot of people engage with video. They stop, they watch, right? So now they're more invested in their time with you, okay? Then of course you wanna measure and optimize your retargeting campaigns. It, that is definitely essential for your long-term success. And use tracking and analytics tools to monitor the performance of your retargeting ad. So pay attention to metrics like click-through rates, conversion rates, and return on ad spend. And definitely, conduct some split testing or A-B testing to refine those ad creatives, your messaging and your audience targeting. Like that should be done on a very consistent basis. And depending on the size of your audience would depend on how frequently that regular basis is, okay? Then don't miss out on conversions by neglecting the power of retargeting. It's a valuable tool in your digital marketing arsenal that can significantly boost your bottom line. So remember to stay strategic, segment your audience, and consistently optimize your campaigns for the best results. I hope that you found this episode helpful. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and definitely share it with your peers, right? Because sharing is caring. And as always, stay tuned for more insightful discussions on driving traffic and increasing conversions coming forward in 2024. I appreciate you so much for being here with me today. Until next time, let's grow your business together.